An executive order signed by the governor this week could shut down diversity, equity, and inclusion programs on college campuses. Our Capitol reporter Haley Wager breaks down the costs of funding diversity, equity, and inclusion programs and with who's footing the bill. Making a move to cut down diversity, equity, and inclusion programs at Oklahoma colleges. I've heard from all over the state that they're just tired of, of wasting our dollars on something that tries to divide us. The governor's executive order calls for a report of DEI spending by next summer. We need to stop sending six-figure salaries to DEI staff. A state report submitted at the beginning of the year showed less than 1% of state and federal funding supports DEI. The Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education estimated $10.2 in DEI spending for this year, with $3.4 million of that coming from state appropriations. In 2023, the University of Oklahoma budgeted $2.2 million to diversity and inclusion, with $1.4 million of that going to faculty and staff pay. That's out of a total overall budget of more than $1.4 billion. Now the OU president says Stitt's order will eliminate their DEI program. OU President Joseph Harris said in a statement, we will remain committed to ensuring an education from the University of Oklahoma remains accessible and available to all. We prohibit the state from granting preferential treatment. Another concern from lawmakers, this order could put federal funding and accreditation at risk, both of which require DEI supports. We'll cross that bridge when it, when it comes, whether it's accreditation or not. Let's not discriminate based on race. That's all we're saying here. The state regents for higher education told us in a statement, we are reviewing the governor's executive order and the state system of higher education will comply. All colleges must report their DEI spending to state and lawmakers by May of 2024. For Oklahoma's own, I'm Haley Wager.